Greetings friends if you are new to NBA 2K24 and want to keep your badges from regressing in the game then here's how you could go about doing that so what we're going to do is hit the pause menu and then ironically you'll see this little promo here saying last chance to achieve level 40 to get the gold floor setters so what floor setters do is they when you unlock them they prevent a badge of your choice from dropping below a certain level so if you have the gold floor setter unlocked whatever gold badge that you choose for that that floor setter the floor setter will prevent that badge from dropping below the gold level there's also a silver one as well so if you have a silver badge and you want to set that to the silver floor setter the silver floor setter will prevent that badge from dropping below the silver level there is a catch though and I'm sorry, yes, there is a catch. But uh, these are season rewards. So you'll have to do a bit of grinding in order to go and get these floor setters. So for example, in season one, the silver floor setter is unlocked at level 21. While as that promo mentioned, the gold floor setter is, is unlocked at level 40. And so there's a couple of ways to go about doing this. You could go ahead and do it the old fashioned way, just kind of just ball out and go and level up that way and get your rewards that way. Or new for NBA 2K24, you can actually go and buy level skips if you so wish. Um, with real money, by the way, not with VC, so <laughs> with real cash. But that is how you go about doing that. So it's all up to you, all up to you on how you want to go about doing it. If you want to go in, shell out the money and go and just do it that way, you could do it that way. If you want to go and grind it out, you could do it that way as well. Or maybe you want to mix it up a little bit. Maybe you want to go and just grind a little bit and then do some little level skips in between to kind of accelerate things a little bit. It's all totally up to you and how you want to go about um, approaching this. And so, yeah, but that is how that's looking. And uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, there was a catch there. I, I, I bet you wish that that catch was dropped, but unfortunately it was caught. So, so with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what the floor setter page looks like and um, how exactly it works once you unlock these floor setters. Alright, let's go over to progression, then make our way down to badges, and then let's go over to where it says floor setters. So there is one floor setter that you can unlock for each season for both silver and gold in NBA 2K24. Once you have a floor setter unlocked and chose the badge that you want uh, equipped for that floor setter, then you cannot change it. So like right here for my silver floor setter, I have catch and shoot used here and I cannot change that. So this is permanent for season one and I had to wait till, till season two to unlock the next floor setter for silver and choose another badge to uh, add to that. And so that is how it works. So basically when you unlock these floor setters, you got to kind of choose wisely. Um, of which badge you want to uh, have set for for these floor setters, um, so that way you know uh, because you can't you, you can't change it. So uh, so you gotta kind of you know like I said choose wisely. Think about think about I guess the badges that matter to you the most. Uh, think about the badges that you know uh, have you know just done the best for you. Think about the way you play the game. How do you play the game? What, what matters to you the most um, when you're out on the court playing? Are you a, a shooter? Is shooting the most important thing? Is ball handling the most important thing? Defense, rebounding, things like that. So, and take that into consideration when you go and choose which badge you want to have set for these uh, floor setters. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful at all, then definitely make sure to go and leave a like and subscribe. I very, very much appreciate that. And if you want to go and know more about the 24 new badges in NBA 2K24, then go ahead and watch this video that should be popping up on your screen right now. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Adios. Sayonara. Ghost Panda. Oops. Out of here. <laughs>